Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back for part two of the Gracious Grass Tournament. Uh, round one that is, and we got some more exciting matchups here. Kicking off with probably one of the more standout matches of this round. The Super Mutterborosaurus taking on Paris Dinotector. Then we will see Sorolophus going up against Lanzusaurus, which could be interesting. Myasaurus taking on Alpha Aranosaurus, and Ultirhinus going up against Brachylophosaurus. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Super Mutterborosaurus. Now this one could be an interesting combat here, because it utilises moves like Tie Attack, Green Impulse, and a bit of Wall Smash. <laughs> okay, in the blue corner we have Paris Dino Tactic. One of many variations of Paris Orthodox in this tournament. Could it be the one to win it? We saw how well the Spino Tector and the um, Bronthikins did last time in the Water Washout tournament. Can Paris Dino Tector repeat those feats? Ooh, we start with a crit. Good start there from Paris Dino Tector. Oh, that's a tie. There's that tie attack. Ooh, but it's a green impulse from Paris. And yes, both of our combatants have green impulse. And I think the Mutt has slightly more technique, so in theory, the Super Mutt the should get off green impulse. But because his health is below par, it is awakening time. Dino Tech to Paris on top so far. Oh, and the Paris gets the crack! But because of the awaken mode, the Super Mutt the Burrasaurus will just survive. Oh, and it gets a hit. It couldn't cut it. Surely not from this position. Can the Mutterborosaurus do it? Uh, the answer to that is no. But it did kind of show a bit of defiance in the end here, but the Super... the Paris Tector wins round one. And yes, as, is, as I've probably mentioned before, for those of you that are new, this is a best out of three. Paris Tector is 1-0 up, but there's still two more rounds to go, so let's get on with round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two grass munchers. Can the Super Mutt the Burrasaurus even the score? Or can Paris Tector take a 2 0 win? Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay, 1050 technique. Okay, maybe. No, sh I think. Yeah, Mutt the has 1100 technique. Either 11 or 12, I think it's 1100. Oop, we start with a tie. Who's getting the green impulse? It's Mutterborosaurus this time. Boosh! Flap! The flappy wings. Boosh! Oh, look at that! All the health taken away from the tie healed up. Oh, another tie. Oh, we're gonna have another green impulse. But this time it's from Paris Tactor. Definitely seen a lot of green impulses today. There's that Emerald Garden effect. They're taking a fair chunk of health. Okay, not half yet, not half yet. So it's not a weak mode yet. I almost did it then. Ooh, the Mutterborosaurus does get off the head. And it looks like Mutterborosaurus might be even in the score. Oh, there's another tie. Oh, no green impulse this time, though. Ooh. And the Tappy Jar is coming in for Tiebreaker. Has the Paris Tech to turn the screw? Okay, I'll stop. Oh, the head! Oh, I think Paris Tech has won. Actually, maybe not. I think the Mutt will just survive. Yeah, just like last time. 
Oh, what a tight match this is. But can the Mutterborosaurus somehow find a way to hit back? Oh, it doesn't! It's a wall smash! Smashing Paris Tactor into the wall, shattering its rib cage and collapsing all its organs. The Mutterborosaurus, the Super Mutterborosaurus that is, has even the score. Oh, now this is what a match should be. Awesome. That was awesome, that was. Okay, on to our final round between these two, because it's all going to come down to this. Alrighty then. Round three between these two. Who has enough energy left? Who will get the green impulses off? And who can turn the screw on this match? Um, I would say, despite the, um, it, the score being even, I'd probably say the... Paris Tech is slightly on top because the Super Mutt was on a very tiny sliver of health when it won the last round. Oh, we start with a tie. Here comes a green impulse from the Mutterborosaurus. Boosh! Yeah, I could definitely see the tie attack synergy that mess with um, green impulse. Could be deadly in this tournament. And yeah, look at that. All the health restored. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, another tie. No green impulse this time. For the Paris Tector below half health. Mutterborosaurus on top. But we all know that that can change quick. Especially when you're dealing with a Dino Tector dinosaur. Okay, I'm not going to give it, because I think that's just on the money there for half health. But, I will be awakening the Mutterborosaurus after this hit. Oh, it's all going to come down to this. Because, if the Mutterborosaurus gets hit, it will die. A tie might finish it off as well. Oh, the Paris! The Paris Tactor! Dropping the Awaker mode once again, and defeating the Super Mutterborosaurus to take a 2-1 win. Oh, that's a shame, because I would like to have seen more of Super Mutt going forward, but the Paris Tector looked quite impressive there in dispatching the Super Mutterborosaurus and booking her place in the last 16. Yeah, it is. Yes, yeah, last 16, Stranger, last 16. <laughs> Alright then. Time to move on to our next matchup, which sees the Sorolophus taking on the Lanzusaurus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have a Sorolophus. Uh, I believe this is a revival type one. And it could be one to watch in this tournament. A decent amount of technique there. Even and it also has green impulse, but it, I gave it technique boost as well. Also, in the blue corner, we have a Lanzusaurus, quite a popular dinosaur in my big tournament. I believe Lanzu used it, and who else used it? I can't remember. Oh, that's right, Maximum Pyrus. And yes, that crit does pack a punch. As I know, because I actually figured out all the stats for all the dinosaurs, so I know how deadly that crit can be. Ooh, but Sorolophus opens up with a first hit. Lanzusaurus taking a hit there, but not too much damage dealt as the Technique Boost activates. Oh, another hit coming in from Sorolophus. A strong start but by the Crested Lizard so far. Oh, 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 wow, Sorolophus dominating this match so far. Here comes a Tail Smash. Lanzusaurus needs to get his act together. Oh, finally Lanzusaurus gets a hit, and it is a Power Drain. A Power Drain which Lanzusaurus used in the anime. Mm, the mad button clickage. <laughs> Lots of inhale in there, and a big exhale of Sorolophus energy. Oh, here comes a tie. And here comes Green Impulse, which is why I have that technique boost. Boosh! 
Oh, <laughs> sorry. I could, I, just, I could just hear my dog barking. Probably a ghost again. But, back to the match. The Serolophus. An impressive display. Defeating the Lanzu Saurus in round one. And taking a 1-0 lead. Okay then. Let's move on with round two. My tea's gone a cold. It's not good. But anyway, round two here. Can the Serolophus continue to impress? Or can the Lanzu Saurus even the score? I suspect if it does get off that neck crusher, Lanzusaurus will be in with a good shout of winning. But the Serolophus has looked quite strong so far. And it opens up with a crit. Can the Sor Oh, but Emerald Garden has been triggered there. As has Technique Boost. Can the Lanzusaurus get off that Emerald Garden? The answer is yes! Lanzusaurus finally striking back! Well, it did get a hit off on the Serolophus, but it didn't do too much damage. But this Emerald Garden will do will have a greater impact than that Power Drain did. Oh, it didn't heal too much health. I was quite disappointed. But Lanzusaurus won't mind, as it has just earned him a slight lead. Ooh, and the Lanzusaurus getting off a hit now. Can the Lanzusaurus finish the job? A crit will do it. Ooh, but a crit is not what it's going to get. Instead, the Serolophus is going to get off a Tail Smash. Ooh, but another Emerald Garden being triggered there. And there's the Technique Boost. Maxing it up there. And by my record, now Serolophus should have 1500 tech. So the likelihood of a green impulse being activated here is highly likely. As you can see here, another green impulse incoming. Hang on a minute, is Technic Boost overpowered? I mean, you kind of have to waste a move. You know, you kind of have to use up one of your moves to use it. Hang on a minute, that might be a bit strong. No, I'm thinking because it gains 400 technique with every boost, right? So that's 400, that's 800. It already had 700, so that's 1500. That's quite strong. Especially for a gold dinosaur. And our gold dinosaur has just taken out Lanzusaurus and has claimed a 2 0 win. Serolophus looking quite strong there. Could go deep in this tournament. And it will face the Paris Tector in the last 16. Well, that was quick and painless for the Serolophus, wasn't it? Uh, commiserations to Lanzusaurus. You know, some some people do like that guy. You know, it's a shame that Laughing got knocked out. Could have been a Dark Horse in the tournament, but it wasn't meant to be. Right, time to move on to our third match of this video, which sees Iasaurus going up against Alpha Ranosaurus. Okay then. <laughs> In the red corner, we have a Myasaurus. And yes, somebody might be using this for Adolf Adams' tournament. And that someone might be me. And yes, beware of that two platoon crash. Uh, that thing will definitely pack a punch. And Myasaurus actually has one of the better crits in the, out of the grass dinosaurs. And I think it has the best rock crit out of all the grass dinosaurs. Although, this Alpha Ranosaurus is a close contender as well, as that Rock Crit definitely packs a punch. I'm not sure, I have to double check my stats, but yeah. All I know is that Myasaurus crit damage is 740, which is quite high. But, can it win it this matchup? Oh, Myasaurus gets the first hit. And that, my friends, is an elemental power. Actually, I think this might actually be my move set for this guy. Oh, Myasaurus getting another hit off and another elemental power incoming. Myasaurus on top early on. The Alpha Aranosaurus not looking good. Oh, that's a tie. Yeah, yeah, the charge type Myasaurus there, definitely doing some damage. A 2 platoon crush being triggered, and the 2 platoon crush be activating. The Seismosaurus 
Supersaurus will be coming in to pound the Alpha Aranosaurus into the dirt and give the Myasaurus a deserved 1-0 lead. Well, that was quick and painless for the Myasaurus, wasn't it? The Aranosaurus, the Alpha Aranosaurus, quickly dispatched. But it's still all the fit play for here as we move on to round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two. Can the Myasaurus finish off Alpha Aranosaurus or can the Alpha Aranosaurus put up a fight? Yes, this is a taste of what you humans have to look forward to in Adolf Adams' tournament when you face my Myasaurus. Ooh, the Alpha Aranosaurus opens up with a crit. Big damage dealt there. Ooh, but the Myasaurus gets the hit back. Boosh. And the elemental power will be activating there. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, but no green impulse. But the two platoon crush has been triggered. Oh, the Myasaurus went for it, but the Alpha Ranosaurus got off a softening beam. That will also increase the damage Myasaurus will take in a turn. As you can see there. Mm, but the Myasaurus does get the hit back. Elemental power is going to activate. It's not going to help at this point though. Because a crit from the Alpha Rano will kill it. Ooh, the Alpha Ranosaurus though has even the score. A banana surprise there. Boosh! A broken neck for the Maya. And a one all for the Alpha Rano. So you know what that means? It's all going to come down to this next round. Alrighty then, round three between these two grass eaters. And which one has not enough fuel left in the tank to prevail? Will it be Myasaurus or will it be the Alpha Ram? Ooh, the Alpha Ram opening with a crit here. The Myasaurus not looking too good after that first round win. Needs to get his act together. Oh, here comes a tie. Definitely see the charge type effect there and an extra damage. Oh, the Myasaurus does get a hit. And here comes Elemental Power, which again, I don't think is going to be too helpful. Of course, it will increase the damage to Platoon Crush does, so I suppose it's helpful in that aspect. Ooh, but the Myasaurus just cannot get off that two platoon. The Alpha Ranosaurus instead getting off the softening beam, analyzing the Myasaurus anatomy, and reduce increasing the damage it will take in a tie. Hmm, we could test that. I might test that in another video. I just had a thought. You sand trap with softening beam on a charge type dinosaur and see how much damage it can do. Anyway, back to this match, and look at this. After a sluggish start, the Alpha Aranosaurus has emerged victorious, and has taken a 2-1 win over the Myasaura, and has booked their place in the last 16. Quite impressive by the Alpha Valiant Lizard. Well, we have one more matchup to go, and that is the Ulti Rhinus taking on the Brachylophosaurus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Ulti Rhinus, the thick nosed beast itself. Can it go far in this tournament? Watch out for that super impact, as we saw the damage it did in the anime, and I suspect it'll do some damage in this tournament. In the blue corner though, we have a Brachylophosaurus, the wild card for Open the Dino King. Of course, this one's different because it's lethal type. And look at that power. Over 2,000. Especially for like a dino that's relatively weak. Really good. Could be one to watch also going in this tournament. Oh, that's a tie. 
ties suit neither of our combatants since neither of them have green impulse or any moves that give them the advantage in attack. And neither of them are tie type or charge type or blender type. But that super impact has been triggered after that opening hit from the Brachylophosaurus. Ooh, a chance missed there from Ulti Rhinus. Could have got a super impact off. Could have landed some major damage. Oh, but instead, the Brachylophosaurus is dominating this opening match so far. But one super impact can change all that. However, there will be no super impact. Instead, it will be a big foot assault to finish off the Ulti Rhinus and give Brachylophosaurus a 1-0 lead. Quite one side that is, because the Ulti Rhinus had only got a hit. But an impressive display from Bracky the Thesaurus, and a 1-0 lead going into round 2. Speaking of round 2, let's get on with round 2. <laughs> Alrighty then, round 2 here, and can the Ulti Rhinus put up a fight? Or can the Bracky the Thesaurus continue its impressive start? Okay, that's a six. Oh, well, here we go again. Ooh, we got a two before a dive. I don't think we saw that last round. Come on, the Rhinus, get a hit. Although, that super impact has been triggered. Oh, come on! <laughs> it's a big foot assault. Well, this is going to do big damage to the Rhinus here. Will it be lethal? Well... Might be, but I don't know. Just have to see. Because uh, Brachylophosaurus' attacks are very balanced, but it is the lethal type one, which increases its crit damage by 200. And look at that! Almost decimated the ulti Rhino, so he got a hit. Oh my god, the ulti Rhino has a hit! And it's gonna be Final Fury and a triple headbutt. And I should also mention that this Ulti Rhinus is Crisis type, so it will get stronger here and it will increase its attack damage. As you saw there, and look at that final fury there. And all of a sudden, Ulti Rhinus one attack away from snatching the win. Well, snatching this this win anyway. It'll, even, it'll only even the score. Oh wow, look at that! Two hits from the Ulti Rhinus! And the Brachylophosaurus goes down! Ulti Rhinus clinging onto its tournament hopes here, even in the score, which means it's all gonna come down to this next round. Alright then, round three between these two, and I didn't expect to see a round three between these two, given the way the Brachylophosaurus dominated the first match and pretty much dominated the second match. But the Ulti Rhinus has fought back hard and has managed to get to this position where all he needs to do here is win and he will knock out the Brachylophosaurus. Oh, we start with a tie. Ooh, the Brachylophosaurus getting the first hit and I believe it is a Dino Swim. With two before I dive to come, this could land some big damage on Ulti Rhinus but as we saw, the Ulti Rhinus thrives on low health because it's crisis time and it triggers super impact when it gets hit which we haven't seen once Ooh, the ulti rider's getting some damage off i don't think crisis type has been triggered yet it only gets it only works when the ulti rider's hp is in the red But, Ulti Rhinus might not need it. Here comes a triple headbutt. Boosh. Boosh. Can Ulti Rhinus finish off Brachylophosaurus to come from behind to win? Oh, oh, if... Oh, hang on. Oops. Well, we know who's going to win this one now. The Ulti Rhinus coming from behind after a slow start to finish off the Brachylophosaurus. And how fitting they use his super impact. I mean, we know it's lethal. Yeah, 100% lethal. The Ulti Rhinus here. 
after a slow start, comes from behind to defeat Brachylophosaurus and book his place in the in the last 16 where he will face the Myasaur. Well, some good matches, weren't they? Right, we'll update the table and we'll end our session. Um, yeah, we could be in for some interesting matches in the quarterfinals. We will see the Paris Tech to take on Sorolophus. And yeah, my bad, I forgot it was Alpha Aranosaurus who won. So it'd be Alpha Aranosaurus taking on Ulti Rhinus, not Myasaur. But yeah, that should be an interesting matchup as well. Can any of these two four go far in the tournament? We'll just have to see. But yeah, that's going to end this session. Stay tuned for next time where we will have these four match. Oh, oops. Where we will see these eight dinos going at it. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>